welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to analyze at uh, U.S. oil, and uh, we are going to apply different methods, uh, all technical, definitely. Uh, that includes some of the WD GAN methodology and some of a mixture of Elliot Wave analysis. So I'm trying to combine uh, different techniques to come to conclusions, and that's what we are looking at right now. On a monthly time frame, are you guys are well aware of it that I'm considering that we have probably created a major top right over here. Uh, I'm of concern that we have completed uh, one of the major tops right over here, and from that top, uh, we are going down. And this what uh, what is the one of the major assumptions that I'm taking over. I'll show you the chart right over here. Maybe this would help a little. So I'm considering this whole price movement as A, this is B, and this is C. On a larger pattern, I'm considering that this is X wave pattern complete. Previously, we had W down, and then this is X basically completing. And uh, part of that comes from my analysis that I have done uh, some analysis on this price swing. This deeper price swing is quite worrying, giving an indication that we probably have seen already a top right over here. And uh, I've drawn this channel right over here. So far, this channel is giving uh, some good resistance to the the correction here as well. And we are going to look at right now the where exactly the prices are expecting to go from over here. So first of all, uh, I wanted to draw some attention to over here. I've drawn some levels right over here. Uh, basically, I use a percentage tool, and that's what I've drawn from the top. And we have seen that we have kind of seen about 12.5%, 25%, and this is basically right about 50% of the square that I've drawn from the top. And we have seen that the prices have reached from the top to right bottom or right over here, and they got refusal at about 50% of the box drawn. And not only that, when prices went up, they have found some support coming right over here. And I want to focus on this support. If you pay attention to the, the bars that we have, can see that a kind of a zigzag pattern is occurring on a daily time frame. And a support is coming right over here. When prices went up, if the support was really strong and a lot of buying occurred, then prices could have easily penetrated the top. Uh, we have seen double tops if you are looking for technical in terms. Then we have seen one top right over here and one top right over here. When prices went over here, they still found resistance and we have seen a, a deeper move. Uh, it looks to me that the, there's still a part of the move is left right over here. What we are possibly seeing is that a single zigzag is right over here. And then we have seen one zigzag and we are probably seeing another zigzag. Uh, the larger pattern is, is, uh, is quite uh, something that we need to discuss. There's a possibility that we are going to see price wave up. We have already seen, we have seen price down and then it looks to me that we are going to see price up right over here. So how far we can stretch this price really depends on the sellers that are going to that are coming at this level. We can see and that this is a 50% of the drop basically. If these are the four boxes, and then we can see the 50% uh, support is coming off the drop at a very important level. And just below the 50%, we are seeing some selling pressure coming off, uh, giving an indication that bears it looks to me are in control. They are uh, doing their best not to give away much of the territory that they have. Uh, taken. Let's go back a look at this chart uh, on four hourly chart and on hourly chart. Okay, it looks more s clear. If you look at the swing, it looks more s clear right from here. We have seen one swing right and ending over here. We have another seen swing right over here. And it looks to me that we are seeing another swing right over here. Now, a couple of things are possible. First possibility is that we are going to see right over here, and that will be the end of uh, the price movement. In that case, we can consider it as W as x and and y in that case if this is the case then case we are expecting for the prices to strongly reverse right over here uh, that and i'll discuss more uh, another possibility is one of the alternate counts another count is here is that instead the bears actually gave away and the bulls are in control and we see a deeper price movement and if you see a deeper price movement in that case uh, we have to look at the pattern we have seen a low and we have seen a higher low forming right over here. We have seen a high right over here and that will be a higher high. So that will be a meaning that the bulls are in control at least for this particular time swing. And in that case that the pull can actually, the push can actually can take from prices right over here to a very deep price movement right over here as well. So there is no stopping. Once once they cross the top right over here, we should expect it a, a longer price movement. Uh, once again, uh, some sort of selling pressure should come around. Then we have one structure right over here and one structure right over here. 
So this is all indicative that once this pressure, which is $73, gets cleared, uh, let's say the prices go to $74.15, uh, that will be giving an indication that we should actually uh, put our momentum towards upward. So both of these are possible. This will be then W, X, and Y. And in that case, we should wait for the prices. We should not uh, just assume uh, jump into the bearish trade. We should wait for the prices to drop at least three points from whatever the point it is trading. Let's say it's trading at 78. We should wait for the prices to drop at 75 at least. Let's say it's trading at 80. And then we should wait for the prices to drop at least three points before we actually go bearish. I still would be bearish. I'm not going to definitely uh, take this trade because that will be completely opposite to the main trend and it's not a good idea to go against the main trend uh, so you can wait for the good entry time that's what exactly right now I believe we are going through right now so we have to basically look for more price action one more thing happens is that just in case that prices go up and come down if prices fall down once again from $73 to DAW and if they hit $70 I'm going bearish on it I'm not gonna wait for the mm, the break of the 69 ideally it will be a good idea to wait for the break of the lower low uh, and then we can be more confident but I if the price drops to 70 I'll be putting my stop loss at 73 and I'll be shorting uh, in, the, in the trade right now so as for Elliott wave analysis is concerned, I'm considering this whole price movement as the smaller wave, and this is wave two. So wave one and wave two, it looks to me that wave three. So wherever this pattern completes, I'm looking that we are seeing completion of wave four. Or there's another possibility that we'll be seeing a part of wave four completion. That means we'll be seeing only wave A right over here, or we'll be seeing wave W. That's too much to say early on, but we need to say more uh, price action. Next couple of days are going to be very uh, important to give us indication what's happening. And as I see, all these levels are now working as resistance levels. So I'm just mm, going to pay attention to where to do the entry of the bear market uh, that I'm expecting in the uh, in the U.S. oil trade. So I'm once again bearish. We are still trading below the the supporting channel, and I'm bearish. And I've uh, given some commentary. Uh, hopefully, it will be really helpful with you guys. Uh, let's have a look. Mm, at uh, the percentage, at the exact percentage, not that percentage, and uh, that's the exact percentage right over here right now. It's not based on, so we can still see that we are close to the 50 percent run from top to bottom, and then it looks like we are finding some resistance, three points. So it's once again it's the same thing. Uh, let's have a look at the some uh, support, angular support. So here we can see that the di diagonal line is getting. Uh, some support right from the top right over here uh, there's one more that we can draw right from this top right over here to this one uh, right over here so we can see that the prices did not like this area so this is not useful we cannot see any third point occurring on that uh, let's leave that let's consider that if you can draw an angle from this top uh, to this maybe uh, top as well if you draw this one, we can capture one this top right over here. We can capture this one right over here. This will also close miss. Uh, so I'm going to keep these two trend, uh, these two angles, one this one and one this one. And uh, there is a possibility that when prices go right over here, they might find some uh, resistance on this line as well. So that's why these trend lines are really helpful. Wish you good luck with your trading. If you want to uh, see my more analysis on gold, silver, euro, and uh, British pound, they are all presenting some very, very interesting um, patterns. You can visit me on patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.